Welcome to another video tutorial from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be looking at the export options from Machine. First thing we're going to do is go up to the File menu and then click Export Audio. You can see here that I have a bunch of different options and I'm just going to go through them with you right now. The first option for Region is either All Scenes or Loop Range. All Scenes will export the entirety of the scenes that you have up here in your scene menu and loop range will only export the length that you have selected with the loop range which is this right here so for now I'm just going to leave it to all scenes and then output is where you control what sound you actually output by selecting master that's the same as the drag and drop that we did before where it will export all the sounds in one file you can also select groups and you can select which group you would like to export and that will export those groups as individual files. Finally, if you click on sounds, you can see that we now have all of these sounds in the particular group that we have selected. So for example, you can see here that I have the 808 kit selected, so I'm presented with those options. If I was to close these options and select a different group and go back to my export options, you'd see that under sounds, I now have those sounds that I can then export. I also have the destination, which is simply the folder that all of these files are going to be exported to. Finally, I have three options for the type of files that are going to be exported. I can choose to normalize all of the files to a certain volume if I like. I can also choose whether I want to optimize these files for looped playback, so that would be something that you might check if you were going to be performing in a program like Ableton Live. And finally, you can choose the bit depth, 8, 16, or 24, and that'll all depend on what kind of software application you're going to be using these files with. After you set your export options to the way that you like, you simply click the export button. You can see that it bounced the audio to disk and now says it's done. So you can close the export audio options and go to your finder or your explorer on Windows and you can see here that I have all of the individual sounds exported from machine. That's it for this video tutorial. For more visit the djpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.